Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insania, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and I react to comedy music videos from the perspective of a comedy musician. Hence the name. So if you're new here, that's what this is all about. Uh, and uh, welcome to another week of doing Stupendium videos. This week I am reacting to the two remaining Animal Crossing songs that he has done that I had not reacted to yet, which is Nook, Lion, and Sinker, as well as These Hallowed Wings, both of which won the poll on my Patreon, uh, where I occasionally hold a poll to see what Stupendium songs I should react to next, but also, as a bonus for this week, in between those two songs, I'll be reacting to the Chalk Eaters, uh, Doom Crossing, Animal, Eternal... They're a crossover song since both games came out on the same day song. That was coherent. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm doing that in the middle there. Uh, also, as a precursor before we get into this, uh, the next couple of weeks are going to be taken up by some videos that aren't quite stupendium stuff, uh, because I do react to a lot of comedy music. Uh, there is some comedy music that is coming out in the next couple of weeks that I will be reacting to. Uh, next week is the finally the release of the NSP video for the Mystic Crystal, uh, which is their 11-minute prog rock epic song, and uh, finally the music video that's been worked on for over a year is finally coming out on Wednesday, so I'll be reacting to that next week. And then the week after that, on the 14th, is a brand new video by Epic Rap Battles of History, so I'll be reacting to that the following week. So if you're on my Patreon or thinking about joining my Patreon and want to participate in the poll to choose the next Stipendium song, that poll will be held later. Uh, two weeks from now, apparently. If math works. Uh, also, I, there are a couple other songs out that, I, that I've been wanting to react to. Uh, Il Neige has a, has a new song, uh, Look at This Pokesnap, which is brilliant and has been picked up by various news sources as well, so good on you, Il Neige. Um, and uh, the, the Harry... Uh, 101K from the Sounds of Science. There's a bunch of songs that I have in my backlog that I've been trying to get to, so I'm going to try to pepper those in because we only have a few Stupendium songs left to get through other than the new stuff that he'll be releasing. But, uh, you know, there's only a few left in the backlog, so I'm spacing them out as much as I can to kind of space them out. Anyway... Uh, we're going to get into this now, uh, first with Nook, Lion, and Sinker. Uh, I, I guess I'm sort of reacting to these in the order they were released initially. I think Nook, Lion, and Sinker was the first one, These Hallowed Wings, and then Rogue's Gallery was the last one, but I reacted to that one first because I was just starting to react to Stupendium songs when that song came out. Enough backstory, enough dilly-dallying on the opening and the intro. You know what you people are here for, me to make funny faces about the song and appreciate comedy music. Welcome. Yeah, let's start. <coughs> that is an interesting Sorry. noise. Where was I? Oh, yes. <clears throat> they say of the fable that businessmen croon that dog dog but he pays the raccoon <laughs> filling up the coffers billing up the otters watching the squirm yes lions and tigers and bears oh my fur so this is almost uh a, a bit more of a, a laid-back version of star bombs uh song about tom nook because they have a they have an Animal Crossing song on their first album as well, about uh, Tom Nook trying to get all them bells. Uh, so yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, as one would assume, Stupendium doing a song uh, about a game uh, having to deal with uh, capitalism and uh, consumerism and the need for spending and how much of an overarching theme that is in games. Yes, good. Make mountains from founding these half-finished villages Run down little towns that I fill up with idiots Declare one the mayor, <laughs> The 
little Animal Crossing stupendium with his sideburns. That's a uh, and or resident representative, which is what it is on uh, New Horizons. Uh, yes, because uh, admittedly, the only Animal Crossing game I've played is New Horizons. So I love this animation style, which is like basically just like little cutouts that pop out. It's almost Paper Mario-esque, uh, but uh, mildly animated paper cutouts popping up and doing things and every so often changing by flips. And uh, I dig that. I dig that a lot. Um, Take mountains from founding these half-naked villages Run down little towns that I fill up with idiots Declare one the mayor, flare their ego a little bit Charge them with fixing it, then charge for the privilege <laughs> You buy land at a high deposit when I drop profitable hovels on it Each island is like a wallet cause I got the whole place in my pocket Good little... Uh, section of bars there. That's uh, and the and the rhythm through the middle of it is da 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 That was that was really nice. It then charge for the privilege you buy land at a high deposit when I drop profitable hovels on it. Each island is like a wallet because I got the whole place in my pocket. You crank the land value with every little bit of spin and polish. If I get a better tenant than you, well, thank you. Everything's demolished. About time I took some more payments from your good sales. I'm just balancing the books, but I'm still waiting on the bookshelves. Ooh, that's a great line, too. Still balancing the books, but I'm waiting on the bookshelves. Ooh, ooh, that's a clever flip. Uh, I, I have to say, I finally uh, paid off Tom Nook for all the stuff that I've done on my island, and I still have yet to pay off my student loan. I haven't been in school for 20 years. Cool. Promised you build me once you patch the fence. Don't like it, then build me. I'll just add it to the rent. <laughs> Never seen a game so twee, but there's administration fees. <laughs> Never seen a game so twee, but there's administration fees. Oh, that's genius. And everybody looks so happy, happier than they even look in the game, uh, given this particular animation style. That is so good. And things coming out on sticks to add to the idea of it being puppeted by little cutouts. That's great. For this little haven we chisel from complacency and we pay gratefully slaving every day for the cross drag attached to the back of our new horizon and tie that wrapped up a tycoon cap. Raccoon in a tie and then flipping that to tycoon. Whoo. That's, that's good. Oh, that's, that's the, uh, my favorite line so far. Every day for the cross drag attached to the back of our new horizon. A tie that wrapped up a tycoon. Can't handle my mess, you'd best stick with Splatoon. <laughs> we'll be knee deep in seashells before we hit noon. And Truth. that's hardly a dent in the deck you've accrued. You may <laughs> Wow, I very seldom hear the word accrued in a song, too. Stick with Splatoon, you'll be knee deep in seashells before we hit noon, and that's hardly a dent in the deck you've accrued. You may wonder why we keep moving around. The houses you buy aren't that structurally sound. <laughs> a few years will lapse, they collapse to the ground, and these suckers cough off for a I assume that's more in the other games, because, oh god, it has been a while since I've been to my island. I'm going to get there and every resident is going to be, oh, I, I thought you died or went on vacation and didn't tell anyone, or you've just been sitting inside your house watching TV for weeks. I like, I like how that there's only those extremes. You died. Oh, you've just been watching TV. I mean, admittedly, it is a pandemic, and that's what most of us have been doing, but yeah, that's a thing. Found a few years will lapse, they collapse to the ground, and these suckers oh, no. for another new sound. You call me amoral. 
Is that what you think? Well, at least I've not driven my assistant to drink. Oh, dear little Isabel is caught in a living hell. It's fishing in yard work, not building a citadel. Ooh, that scheme was good, too. Rhyming everything with Isabel, a living hell, a uh, citadel. Wow. Good, good, uh, good bars there. Overworked, underpaid, that poor little shit suit. Managing a bunch of animals, I guess it really is. I guess you see the fun there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've said it before on this. Uh, subverting the expected rhyme uh, is one of my favorite jokes in a song. Uh, so yeah, I loved that. That's, that's so good. Oh, poor, poor drunk Isabel. Not building a citadel. Overworked, underpaid, that poor little shit suit. Managing a bunch of animals, I guess it really is. I guess you see the fun there. Fun there you turned out to be, if I do say so. How fitting in a town full of critters that the only human is the scapegoat. <laughs> that's true. And I, I know who Mr. Rossetti is, and I know that I remember him from the GameCube version, which I never played, but I, you know, I have at least pop culture and osmosis knowledge of. He's not in New Horizons anywhere, is he? I've not come across him. Oh, guitar repossessed, will sing for food. Poor KK Slider. Aww. In a game so twee, but there's administration fees For this little haven we Chisel from complacency And we pay gratefully Slaving every day for the price tag Attached to the Aww. back of our new horizon Oh, oh, Tom Nook suddenly breaking kneecaps as a landlord Is, uh, is kind of depressing I mean, admittedly Again, that's, that's kind of the point of the, the Starbomb song uh, it it takes that to the extreme of him like sending Tommy and Timmy out to to bust your knees for it, but it's uh you know him foreclosing on things is just about a, one step above actually breaking your knees for it. So uh, we'll see if it gets there, won't we? Hey, Ian, jumping ahead of stuff, possibly, maybe predictions. That's what that is. That's not actually. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Chisel from complacency, and we pay gratefully. Slaving every day for the frost bag attached to the back of our new house. has seldom been so inoffensive. No matter the tax and whatever the rent is, they flock and they hurt just to pay their expenses. With no picket line except a few garden fences. Read between the lines and you might find the margin so. Just, just him, in in top hat and tails now, and a and a jewel encrusted cane. Ah, that's amazing. Uh, and yet it's it's stacks of of money and coins, and I expect bells because I know that's what they call it, but they, it doesn't actually look like bells in the in the game. I guess I suppose. Just to pay their expenses with no picket line, except a few garden fences. Read between the lines and you just... might find the margin. So eat up the jargon, don't argue the bargains, or I'll add a no pets clause. It wouldn't so be brilliant. hard, and I'll have every resident live in the garden. Never seen a game so and it's... Oh, oh yeah, there's uh, Timmy and Tommy now holding a bat and a crowbar. <laughs> I guess I kind of kind of predicted that. Fashion fees for this little heaven we chisel from complacency and you pay it gratefully. Living every day for the price tag attached to the back of your new horizon. Bravo. Right, rent's due, and I think you owe me some nuts or fruit or fish or something. Tom Nook here. Yes, yes, I'm from Yorkshire. Don't question it, hmm? <laughs> Tom Nook here. Yes, I'm from Yorkshire. Don't question it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Thanks for watching, and a big thanks to my wonderful suckers and supporters over on Patreon. If you enjoyed the song, please do check the playlist for more. Like, comment, subscribe, all that malarkey, and once you've all rung the bells for notifications, you can pay them directly to me. To ra for now, hmm? I've got money to collect. For the orphans. Yes, yes, orphans. <laughs> <laughs>
he really does revel in playing villainous characters, especially characters that you may not initially perceive as villainous. Uh, he he revels in the, he almost plays them gleefully, to to have that uh, sort of mean streak. It's 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 fun to watch, honestly. It's fun to listen to. Uh, so yes, very much dug that. Now on to the uh, song by the Chalk Eaters, which, looking at it now, I, I hear all of their videos were kind of like those images on stick puppet kind of things, so that's good to have this one before that, because the style is similar, from what I understand. Uh, somebody told me that it, it was like that on uh, my reaction to Count 3, because I, I commented on that in that reaction. And they said, their other videos are like that too. So I'm like, oh good. Yay. Mm. Doom crossing eternal horizons. The life was quiet all around. Kill little island. Nice and nonviolent. But every nice and nonviolent. And yet also I dig that like aesthetically it kind of sounds like the island music too. In the game. The life was quiet all around. Yeah. Yeah. That was a, uh, already amazing. Just not even a minute in. And that happened. Also, uh, that crunching metal with that high voice. Oh, chef's kiss is just, oh, so good. <laughs> Big freaking guns. It's kind of what BFG means, yeah. I love the Doomicorn outfit for Doom Guy. I love the Doomicorn outfit. Uh, my. My Doom Slayer is is wearing that in my copy of Doom Eternal. That is that is excellent. I loved uh, earning that. That was great. Uh, they have a figure of it now, and I kind of want it. <laughs> K.K. Slider and the, the Doot Doot Demon. Oh my god. That is so brilliant. That, that is, and it's, and it, the song is only a minute and a half long. And that is absolutely fantastic. Now it says listen to the full version on Spotify. Does that mean there's a longer version of this song? Because that was, that was a minute and a half and that seemed like a full song. Oh no, no, I, I take that back because there is a link on here that is not a music video, it is just a song that is 2 minutes and 33 seconds. Interesting. Now I'm reacting to the video here because it is the music video, um, but I definitely will be checking out the longer version elsewhere, but holy crap. And I, naturally, it isn't the stick figure that I had been saying, the little stick puppets like Count to Three was, or some of their other videos apparently are. So, yeah, that made me sound smart. But no, that was, 
That was excellent. I I was expecting it and yet not expecting it to go there. So that was uh, fantastic. Doom Crossing Eternal Horizons. Bravo. And finally, These Hallowed Wings by the Stupendium. Love that logo and how he keeps altering it for the videos. So I guess this is a blather song. And he said something there that I missed. Doing a song, are we? Jolly good. Here we go. Get home from an expedition. And the phone on my desk is ringing. Sounds like a friend with a special mission. Found an astounding exhibition. Flap my things and I flap my wings. Excited to find what the campsite brings. There's a brand new island for analyzing. And this chap's flying into track finding. Whoa. Digging the flow as always. Excellent stuff. Found an astounding exhibition. I, I just noticed that the fish looks like stupendium it's it's got his hair and sideburns and mustache on the fish which looks a little blurry because i caught it i paused it right at the scene transition but yeah that my things and i flap my wings excited to find what the campsite brings is a brand new island for analyzing and this chap's flying into track findings natural history is my domain mixed dick little trinkets and giant remains i don't know though i think again i think that's a period <laughs> I've had a jolly holiday in Zanzibar, but this sabbatical is practically spectacular. From a bar, it is honestly a bit bizarre how the island is probably rectangular. I... <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. And yeah, I, I, I guessed right, it is a Blathers song. And that is almost a Stupendium-esque avatar for his villager. That's so good. <laughs> yes, Blathers doesn't like the bugs. We have that in common. And uh, back to uh, Stupendium being the mayor villager uh, in that photograph on Blathers' desk. Calling back to the previous video. <laughs> Wanted red. <laughs> and, oh, wow. Uh, let me see if I can if I can go back a second there. It's not, it's just bouncing. All right, fine. I'll just pause it again. Wanted, crazy red. Art gallery, question mark, later, underscore, uh, underlined. Uh, yeah, so that was a tease to the next Animal Crossing song, which I've already reacted to. That's, uh, that's pretty bloody great. Uh. <laughs> and KK Slider is... <laughs> K.K. Slider in the, uh, uh, Renaissance man, uh, pose. I can't think of what that actually is called, and so that came out that way. Sorry. <laughs> this museum has a speaker system. <laughs> Friday waters, I'm quite astute, and dinosaurs, I'm a fine who's who. But when we all live with tigers too, it might be awkward to try a zoo. Hey De very true, yes. Make it a museum, not a zoo, when everyone you live with is also animals. Yeah. As except for the player character, which is the only human in it. There has to be some sort of disturbing lore about that online. Like, lore theories. And as to why only humans are, are the player characters, everybody else is animals. Because it is called Animal Crossing, and that's a very specific choice. I don't know where I'm going with that, but yay. No bugs underwater. Alas, prehistoric. I knew of Horatiosaur. 
Oh, Hamlet puns. We all live with tigers too. It might be awkward to try a zoo. <laughs> it might be awkward to try a zoo. And then the Nook Department of Island Justice issued him a cease and desist imprisonment of islanders in museum exhibits. Note, residents do not appreciate free accommodation. Zoology wing canceled. <laughs> Again, this is this is what I've talked about before, where this is the reason why you watch the, the video as opposed to just reacting to the song, especially stupendiums, because his he puts so much production into the videos. But, you know, having little background things like this to help enhance what you're listening to in the song uh, is is really what it makes them so worth it, uh, as, especially given the production value, uh, the animation, and just the amount of, of time and, and effort put into the, the work is is fantastic. Coming out these spaghetti ecosystems, riding waters, I'm quite astute, and dinosaurs, I'm a fine who's who. But when we all live with tigers too, it might be awkward to try a zoo. Head down the stairs, and you'll see scores of Dunkleosters and Pizzasaurs. The fish will roll down the right hand hall, and on the left are the creepy crocodiles. You can play with your enemies on the and genetics, he's a vibrant or very never very. And there's no page like curator or librarian, just aware of all the horrors out in the scenarium. So I just stupendium running around. Fantastic. If you've been a digging or a fishing in the sea, then pluck up your discoveries and shuttle them to me. But if you want to know about the birds and bees, this bird prefers that the bees won't leave. Look, <laughs> I understand all the important work they do for the planet. I just wish they'd do it somewhere else. Banned for life. Flick for inappropriate behavior in the insect exhibits. Assault evidence. He, uh, ha handing him a butterfly that he called that uh, assault uh, and and he's looking at a mantis and it calls the arms wretched murder appendages wow so much in the background on this one I dig it you got a daily pet peeves and systems expertise and fees and wisdom want to learn take a seat and listen it's worth the word on the ecosystem squeal the deity check position who says you can't teach them the picture this museum has a speaker system coming out these fragile ecosystems all things bright and beautiful Great and small are collated and notated and displayed within our halls. From mighty titan ancestors to wretched scuttling things. Invited if reluctantly inside these hallowed wings. I was just thinking as this verse was going on. We haven't heard the title of the song and that's been happening a lot with some of these stupendium songs where we don't hear the title of the song in the song lyrics. Uh, I don't think we ever heard Nook, Line, and Sinker in the song called Nook, Line, and Sinker. And These Hallowed Wings, as a title, is double meaning because Blathers is an owl, he has wings, but the wings of the museum as well, inside these hallowed wings, uh, is... I, I, I love a good doubling, uh, a good pun at... Uh, emulation uh not really emulation that's not the word i'm looking for uh usage of puns i like a good usage of puns and and uh a double meaning but not really double entendre but double meaning to uh to phrases so that's fantastic was just wondering when that was going to come in and then there it was i knew if i waited long enough and displayed within our halls from mighty titan ancestors to wretched scuttling kings invited if reluctantly inside these hallowed wings and though bounce may be repulsive i will put up with the fainting if the less abominations pave the way to taking paintings from wow. the works of artists throughout all history inexplicably displayed upon an island out at sea <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> inexplicably displayed in an island out in sea. Yeah, why is there randomly an island with a museum? <laughs> I never really gave it that much thought. <laughs> because it's a video game. Honestly, how much thought do you put into, like, the weird minutia that goes on in a daily life in a game? And then, yeah, to have that pointed out, that's that's brilliant. The master works of artists throughout all history Great. You got a daily tech needs and systems, expertise and seas and wisdom. Want to learn, take a seat and listen, this first the word on the ecosystem. Squeal with me, it's a check position. Who says you can't teach that 
Charging admission. <laughs> who can... let the crickets out? <sighs> Free entry. Oh, that's so Ooh, good. Thank you for watching. And immense gratitude to all of my esteemed patrons for making this video possible. If you enjoyed visiting our little museum, why not check the playlist for more musical exhibits? And do like, comment, subscribe for more, and of course, ring that little bell. Ooh. And on your way out, why not check the museum gift shop for brand new stupendium merchandise? Links below. Thank you for visiting. Toodle hoo! So yes, that is our uh, our trio of Animal Crossing songs. Of course, if you want to check out the uh, original videos without me blathering, no pun intended, all over them, the links are in the description below. Of course, please go support Stupendium and the Chalk Eaters and uh, the various other artists that I feature on this show. Uh, we will be back next week with the uh, reaction to the premiere of the Ninja Sex Party song Mystic Crystal, and then after that will be the newest epic rap battle of history, and then either we're going to get back into Stupendium stuff, or we will get into some other newer comedy music. Um, we'll see. Also, uh, real quick, I'm almost to uh, 8,000 subscribers, which means uh, just after that will be 10,000 subscribers. So thank you all for liking, sharing, commenting, and especially subscribing. Uh, if I do hit 10,000 subscribers soon, what would you like to see uh, to help celebrate that? Leave that in the comments below. As always, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Start it up, cause I've got a job to do. My day begins at a quarter to the crack of noon, and then soon I'll bring you all sorts of stuff to chew. Never thought I'd have this kind of job at 42. Work where? Well, I don't want to be rude. Drop the name of my job and a my pea suit. But to be fair, I guess to spare you a simple name. Clue the German word for overt and what you do to food. Anyway, that's to say the name's weird.